Right, so in this video I'm going to be wiring in a solar panel meter. The, the meter itself will show the exact amount of uh, wattage being uh, generated through the solar panels, uh, the voltage that that wattage is being converted into, and also the amperage that's then getting passed through into the solar controller into the batteries. Uh, there's a few really expensive types of voltage meters out there, but uh, I don't have the money for any of those. And looking online, I managed to come across one of these. Uh, as you can see there, it's just called High Precision Watt Meter Power Analyzer. Uh, it'll handle up to 150 amp, uh, so stupidly high compared to what's actually needed. Uh, it's already pre-wired with some uh, 100 amp cables as well, or uh, like 150 amp cable. Nice thick chunky cable as you can see there. Now these can be wired in between any appliance and the power source to show you exactly what draw is being taken from the appliance or being generated from panels. So I'm actually going to order a second one of these as well and then sit a second one in between the batteries and the fuse panel where all of the power is going to. So then I'll be able to see exactly how much power is being drawn. But at the moment all I'm going to be doing is wiring this in between the solar panels that are on the roof before it gets to the solar controller and then on the display you'll be able to see exactly what the wattage is that's being generated from the solar panels, the voltage and the amps. So it's really very very basic, very very easy to install. Uh, if you've already got a solar controller wired in you just take the wires coming from the solar panels out, wire them into the power analyzer then wire the power analyzer back into the solar controller. So I'll get this unscrewed, wired in and I'll show you exactly what it looks like when it's all cabled up. So that's the power analyzer just wired in. Uh, it's not in the final position where I'm going to be leaving it because the cables aren't quite long enough to put it where I want it. So this is just a demo just to show exactly what it is and how it works. At the moment the solar panel is turned off on the panel that I've got up there. So there's no power going through to the solar controller as you can see there. There's no solar panel symbol there and that's just the general battery voltage as things stand at the moment. So when I turn the power, uh, the power from the solar panels on, this unit will light up. In the top right hand corner it will have the wattage being generated by the panels, the amperage, the volts and so on and forth. So I'll try and get a good picture of that if I can. And I'll turn it on now. And there you go, instantly it just starts reading the uh, output that's coming through from the solar panel. So as you can see there, it's a really cloudy day at the moment, but my solar panels are still generating anywhere from what's that, 25 to 40 watts at the moment. And I say this is still a really cloudy day, but as you can see that uh, that wattage there that's going up, that automatically adjusts the voltage, which then creates the amperage that creates the charge. So you can see there, I'm fluctuating between. 1.2 to 2 amps of charging power at the moment. Now obviously the higher the wattage, the higher the voltage, the higher the amperage. It's just it's a really cloudy day at the moment, that's why the uh, the wattage is fluctuating quite so much. We've had quite a bit of rain today as well, so it's not really the best day to show this, but uh, it, obviously if it was a sunnier day, all of the, uh, the voltages and the wattage would be a hell of a lot higher than what they are at the moment. But it's just a really, really cheap, handy way just to find out exactly how much power is being generated by the solar panels and to show the amount of amperage that's going being passed through into the batteries as well. So I say you could literally have another one of these as well and just have it sat between your battery bank and your main uh, fuse panel going out and then that would also show the amount of draw that's being used on the system uh, and then as you're turning the appliances on and off if you are monitoring that you'll be able to see the increase in the wattage and power that's being used by each individual appliance. So see I am going to get another one of these as well for the outgoing as well but I was just really curious to see exactly how much power was being generated from the solar panels especially in cloudy conditions compared to sunny conditions and if I just put the camera outside you can see it's uh, very overclassed 
it's still spitting with rain as well so it's not really the sunniest or best day but I'm still getting anywhere from 20 to 45 watts coming through so it's just a nice really quick easy way to find out exactly how much power is being generated and as you can see it's literally just two wires going into your solar controller and two wires coming from the solar panels two minutes to fit and a nice reliable way to find out exactly how much power you're generating so I might actually just leave this film in there just for another minute just so you can see the fluctuations and see how much it's doing I'll just speed this up though so I'll just cut it 